Whatever choice you make in every interaction you have, make the choice to be at peace, your sacred or higher self says. Whereas your ego says, oh, no, 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 no. It's much more important to be right. And so we find people in relationships struggling, struggling a lot. And one of the things that they struggle about is who's right and who's wrong. Most of the fights that you have in your relationships really basically, when you, it's oftentimes you forget the details. But it's basically about who's right and who's wrong. So that if you want to have your higher or your sacred part of you ruling in your life, I suggest this to you. Practice being kind rather than right. When you have the choice. And you have the choice in your relationships with your spouse and your ex-spouse, with your parents, with your grandparents, with your in-laws, with strangers on the freeway, with flight attendants, with waiters, with whomever you interact, if you can just subdue this ego part of you which says, it's important for me to be right, which will introduce you to stress and anxiety and fear and so much of the stuff that I talked about earlier, and instead say, how can I suspend this part of me and allow the, allow the part of me that wants to be at peace, that wants to be happy, that wants to be fulfilled. And if I said to you, I'm going to give you a magic wand, and with this magic wand, I am going to allow you to just wave it and get anything that you want. Whatever you want. You can have this, you can have this car, you can have this, these uh, nice clothes over here, you can have this home, whatever it is. Or I said to you, in lieu of that, I'm going to give you another wand, and you can wave this, and for every moment for the rest of your life, you'll be at peace. Whatever comes along, you'll be able to choose peace. And basically, we know that we're only here for a very short time. And being able to choose peace, which is what the sacred part of you begs you, the higher self. Once you get that, you begin to shift away. And you stop telling yourself that the people who are close to me in relationship with me are the people who don't belong there. I remember my wife and I, we often talk about this. And we, we, we've been together a long time. We've had many children together. And we have a very wonderful, loving relationship. Thank you. <laughs> but... We'd often, and one time I said to her, or she said to me, you know, we love each other, but this doesn't sound like love. It does, sometimes the way we talk to each other doesn't sound like love. Let's practice, let's practice with each other, being kind rather than being right. And it was transformative that, that when we had that walk. That, and doing that with your children, and doing that with a waiter. I mean, a waiter who comes to you and is like, you know, hassled and frazzled and has been busy and all of that, and your ego says, wait a minute, I'm here and I'm important. And I have a right to be served, and I have a right to be served now. That's the ego part of you. If, this, if you can suspend that and say, you know, you are a lucky man tonight. You've got somebody who's dealing from his sacred self. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand. And you take your time, and you come to me, and you bring it at your convenience, whenever you can. I'm willing to, I'm willing to suspend my... And you know what? You'll get served so fast, <laughs> and with such gratitude, just for being kind. If you practice it. Every single one of us are in relationship, whether it's with our husbands and wives, with our ex-husbands and wives, with our children, our grandchildren, whether it's with people we drive along the freeway next to, whether it's with waiters and waitresses or baggage handlers or flight attendants or uh, people that we are in line to get into the movie. We're all in relationships and we interact with each other all the time. And probably the best lesson that I've ever learned in my life about how to be in a relationship in a way which is powerful and happy and fulfilling is to remember this sentence. When you have a choice, and you always do, to be right or to be kind, start picking kind. The ego part of us wants to be right. How dare you not serve me as fast as I think I deserve to be served? How dare you say something to me? And immediately we want to make that other person wrong and make ourselves right. But there's a part of each one of us that wants to be happy, wants to be at peace. And that part of us says, it doesn't matter whether you're right. It doesn't matter about your ego. All you want is to be at peace. So pick kind. This kind of an attitude, if we had more of this, not only in our own personal lives, would we improve virtually every relationship we have with all of the people closest to us and all of the strangers we interact with. But on our planet as well, we would begin to understand the wisdom that on a round planet, there's no choosing up sides.
that we're all one. We're all breathing the same air. We're all drinking the same water. We're all being warmed by the same sun. And as they say, as the Native Americans used to say, no tree has branches so foolish as to fight among themselves. It applies in your relationships, and it applies as a people as well.